السلام عليكم ورحمة الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Brothers and sisters, welcome to our second session for the day. Let's just begin by something interesting. A, uh, remember, meant do or did for question. A is for question. So, if I say, A, uh, Anta, Shahzad. Are you Shahzad? So you can say, Yes or no? If you want to say yes, it will be na'am. And if you want to say no, you say la. Right? Anta saad? Na'am. Ana? Saad. Ana saad. Anta shazad? Na'am. Na'am. Ana shazad. Anta David? Na'am. Ana? David. Aanta Kubair? Yes. Mashallah. Aanta Aqao Rahman? Yes. Aanta Aqao Rahman? No, no. Ana. Aanta Abdullah? Yes. Ana Abdullah. Mashallah. Aanta Amir? Yes. Ana Amir. Aanta Arshad? ماشاءالله أأنت زبير؟ لا لا ليس أنت أأنت زكريا؟ أنا نعم أنا زكريا أأنت صابر؟ نعم نعم أنا صابر أنا صابر أيضا أنا صابر أيضا أنت صابر ونحن صابرون صابرون ما شاء الله أأنت محمد؟ لا أنا 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 رزوان أنت شاهد لا أنا شفي ما شاء الله أنت سليم لا أنا مدثر ما شاء الله مدثر ليس مدثر مدثر ما شاء الله ومن وأنت أنا مكسر أنت مكسر الحمد لله وأنت يا شيخ وأنت يا شيخ من أيو أو شير أنت أنت ياسين ما شاء الله وأنت يا شيخ أم غد هذا هذا ليس مصر هذا هذا أم غد أم غد من جبسون الحمد لله يا سعد أأنت فتحت كتابك سعد أأنت did you open فتحت كتابك your book You can say, now or la? No. No. No? 
तो नाम यस एंड हाउ यू से आई ओपन अना फता तू फता तू एंड माय बुक किताबी माशाल्लाह अना फता तू किताबी ऑन द सो मच फॉर नाउ लेटर ऑन बट आई एम सेइंग ऑल दीस वर्ड्स यू ऑलरेडी नो सो दैट मींस we can speak arabic in less than 24 hours mashallah antum ka antum mai are you all with me now nahnu say nahnu maaka maaka we are with you alhamdulillah wa inna allah ma sabirin allah is with all of us with the people who suffer so Do you get the feeling Arabic is easy? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. And you have studied for less than five hours. Alhamdulillah. Let's start today's lesson. With this ayah, but before that, on your right. Where is the? On your right. Where are you? so lesson nine is surah al nas and we shall uh, understand surah al nas plus some more grammar inshallah so let's start by introduction of surah al nas this was the last complete surah revealed to our beloved prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the last complete surah meaning ayat after this were revealed but a complete surah in terms shape of complete surah this was the last surah so what is the first thing that comes to mind it was present to us a complete message at the end of revelation of quran bear this in mind whatever the message of surah nasr is is for us to incorporate in our lives inshallah so the surah indicates that our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam had fulfilled his task alhamdulillah accomplished his mission and it was time to return to his rab that means the mission stated or implied in this surah is our mission also he left the world alhamdulillah leaving this mission to us so if you understand this mission alhamdulillah that means and directly from quran it will have effect on us so what is it the surah teaches the beautiful manners of asking for allah's forgiveness also alhamdulillah and offering constant praise and thanks to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after every good that we do all this in small words that makes the surah al nasr it talks about forgiveness yes it talks about praise yes praising allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it talks about istighfar okay asking for forgiveness so let's begin like we always do we listen to the surah and when i listen to the surah my objective should be focus understand imagine feel focus understand imagine feel let's try that bismillah بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم in this surah let me just briefly throw the light on them and then we shall discuss in depth number one is when comes allah's help and victory which means success can only be achieved with allah's help alhamdulillah 
No other way. That means we need to ask for Allah's help for victory. The Prophet, our dear Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, along with his companions, spent 23 years struggling. And when help comes, it's not talking about Sahaba. You made so many sacrifices. So when the help of Allah subhanahu wa taala comes, victory comes. Okay. So first lesson is victory will always come with Allah's help. Number two. What is victory? You know, it's interesting. Victory for us in this world is having maybe a house and a farm, a few farms, and two cars, and I don't know what else. What does victory mean to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? When you see people entering in the deen of Allah in crowds, that's success. One, point one is that success comes to Allah's help. And what is success? People entering in the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in crowds. Is that what we have in mind when we say success? No. Because again, I keep saying the best word western. The education system has put our mind into a different framework altogether. Success to us means something else. Success to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala means people coming into the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in crowds. Two. When that happens, what should we do? We should do three things. We should do hamd, alhamdulillah. Praise and thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Two, we should do, first of all, sorry, we should do tasbih first. We should say subhanallah. And we'll just, we'll, we'll uh, in this uh, lesson, we should understand what does tasbih mean. So what does subhanallah mean? So we should say subhanallah, Allah is free from all kinds of defects. He makes the right decisions for us all the time. And we should do praise and thanks to Him. So we should do tasbih, hum. And third thing is take far. We got victory. So we should go celebrate. How? Throw a party? Call people? No. We do is take far. So Allah wants us when you get victory. And why is that? That's why now. Inna ukaga tawaba and the last fourth part is is a a great <coughs> glad tiding a bashara for us Muslims for us gunagar for us sinful Muslims Allah says in the ukaga tawaba He will come and forgive you again and again and again and again. <coughs> so four things in the surah. When you finish this course, these four things should be on your tips. Surah Al Nasr is the ideal surah to give da'wah. That was the mission of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. How did he do it? In four aspects. He received his victory when he asked for help from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and he struggled for 23 years. Then he got the victory. This victory is referring to Fatah Makkah, victory of Makkah. When I want victory, how much time have I spent struggling for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? 23 hours? Alhamdulillah, uh, the Jamaat here is so strong and you have a wonderful job. Alhamdulillah. It's not like this in the rest of the world. But the effort that you put out is certainly proportional to what you will get in the end, help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So one, effort, help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number two, understanding of success is people coming into the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in crowds. Third, when we get this victory, success is done by tasbih, hamd, istighfar. Fourth, glad tidings for Muslims is do not despair. Mayus matho, whatever sins you have committed, Allah is ready to forgive you. Once? No, again and again and again. Okay, let's start with word for word understanding. <coughs> is means when. Okay? And Ida also means when. The difference lies in something very interesting. Ja'a is just like Fa'ala or Fataha or Nasara. So Ja'a go like this. Ja'a ja means he came. Ja'a means he came. Okay, he came. And Iza Ja'a means when he comes. So what does the word Iza do? If it comes before the verb past tense. So if it's a past tense verb, 
like faala, fata, jaala, jaa, and before that you, you see ida. So it changes the past tense into present. So jaa meant he came, ida jaa means when it comes in the present. I'll repeat that. Small rule, it will help us a lot. The password, let's say, Fataha, he opened. Ida Fataha, when he opens. So, Ida will change the meaning of Ja'a when it comes together from past to present, inshallah. That's why we say, when it comes or when he comes. What comes? Nasrullah. Nasrullah is Allah's help. So when comes Allah's help, or when Allah's help comes, and what else? Fat and victory comes. So you can see there are two meanings to victory, to fat. One is to open, and one is victory. How will you recall that? With a small story. In the olden days, when there were two different parties, Giro, Farid, fighting each other, one would take himself or take their army and take refuge in a kila or a castle. Fortress. Or a fortress, sorry, castle rhymes in a fortress. The other party would strike at the door of the fortress. And if the door opened, what did it mean? Victory. Victory. When the fortress, the door of the, if you have read history, so it was always connected with the opening of the door of the fortress, meaning victory. So, victory and open, both come from Fath. So, Fatha means victory. We use this in Urdu. Usko Fatha Naseeb Hui. It is used in both ways in the Quran. It is used at some places as victory, at other places as open. Okay. So, the victory. So, when comes Allah's help and victory. And victory is referring to the 8th year of Hijrah, the conquest of Makkah, uh, by some scholars, the biggest victory in Islam, by others the second most significant victory, but the victory is the conquest of Makkah, 8th year of Hijrah. And Surah was revealed uh, most likely either before or after the conquest of Makkah. So let's imagine and feel from this ayah. Victory comes from Allah alone. This should be fixed in our minds. Victory comes from Allah alone. We just try. Everything happens with Allah's help alone. We just try. But if we don't try, there's no barak. Okay, remember. Victory may come or not, you may not benefit from that victory. So we just try. Everything happens with Allah's help alone. Oh Allah, give us victory. Oh Allah, give us victory and evaluate how much time I am spending doing this. So when you are doing dawah, what are you doing? You are asking for Allah's help. You are not going there trying to convert this brother to become a Muslim, do this. You say Allah's help, I need Allah's help so this person can connect with you. Someone said very beautifully, what's dawah? It's to connect Allah's people with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is what we have been sent for. And that is what our Prophet Muhammad Sassar used to do. Connect Allah's people with Allah and you get your commission. The best broker business. You connect what belongs to Allah, you put them together and you get the deal. Just like you sell a house to somebody, you put them together and make how much effort. Is there any real estate person here? You know how much effort they make to sell a house to someone? And as soon as it is accomplished, oh, he gets his commission. Ajar. Aar ajar, laizatullah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Alhamdulillah. So, oh Allah give us victory. Allimu, teach this to others. Uktubu, write this down. Varayita. So what happens? When help comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and victory. And what is that? Varayita. And raayita. Raayita is like, what, like faalta. Like Nasarta, like Ja'alta. See, all of them, same sounding. So Raita means Ra means seeing. So Raita, what does Raita mean? You see or you saw? You saw. But here it is written, you see. Why? 
because the effect of Ida travels Arabic is an interesting language. You know how long the sentences are in Arabic? One line, two line? It could be pages. It could be pages and pages. So the effect travels. So it is like wa iza ra'ita. And when you see ra'ita would mean you saw. And is ra'ita means when you see. That means when Allah's help comes and victory comes, you see. What do you see? You see Anas. Anas are, anas are people. And one is Insan. So the proof of Insan is Nas. So you see the people. Where do you see the people? The people from different tribes of Arabia or the people around you. You see them where? You see them Yad Khuluna Fi Deenillahi Yafaj. Yad Khuluna comes from Duhul. You have seen this word. Duhul means entry, Khuruj means exit. Urdu means Takhil Hona. You know, those who know Urdu, Unke Lee Bari Khush Khabri hai. Agar Aapko Urdu Aati Ho, Aur Ye Course Urdu Me Ho Ra Ho, To Aap Baki Logo Se Kam Az Kam 65-75% Ahead Again. Kyunki Urdu Ke 60-65% Alfaz Arbi Me Se Hai. Aur Bohut Asaan Hai Unke Lee Jinko Urdu Aati Ho, Aur Warbi Na Sikhe. Ye to tragedy hai. You know it's a tragedy. A calamity hai. So for us, for others who do not know Urdu, we have to make a little more effort. But never mind. The whole entry. So yad khuluna, they are entering. So we see people entering. Fi means in. So entering, but when we say entering, we don't say entering in because the in is included in entering. So they enter here. Where are they entering? They are entering. Yad khuluna fi. Entering. Deenillahi. In Allah's deen. What is Allah's deen? Religion is not a very good translation. Not at all. See these translations are, have been taken directly but they don't give you the impact. What is deen? Is deen religion? What kind of way of life? Let's look at this. There are some systems and some religions in this world. Christianity is a religion. And so is Hinduism. Communism is a system. What is Islam? It's everything. It's a complete, who said complete? MashaAllah. It's a complete way of life. Alhamdulillah, complete way of life. So brother, can you pass this on to him? Abdullah, can we take a break in lunch and get some more gifts? Because, you know, we, have, we the class is so good, we ran out of gifts. Oh. So, so we need to get some more gifts. Our Masha. sisters are not getting gifts. That's why we send them to sisters, that's how they finished. Okay. <laughs> anyway, we'll get some more during lunch break, inshallah. So how are the people entering religion? Not in ones and twos. I know the ones and twos are great, but 